first and foremost, Stargum was specifically designed to counter future and evolving threats. As you start seeing those systems move into the area, these are in the Argum capability set. So the reality is the system was already designed uh, to be able to meet those types of threats. What, what the gap it does fill is in those modern radars that have higher frequency rates of agility uh, and being able to move after they shoot. Argum's radar, the millimeter wave radar on the front end is able to be, and coupled with the anti-radiation digital receiver set to be able to see those radars emitting and then when they shut down, the millimeter wave is able to guide to those types of targets. So that fills that gap and allows that A2, AD, you know, area, uh, anti-access, area denial type of scenarios uh, to be able to be penetrated by friendly forces. Argum has provided a, a target set. It's actually given them a certain target, but in those targets they have radars, they have target or missile launchers, and they then also have support equipment. All of those types of targets can be engaged by the millimeter wave, but Argum prioritizes the radar, the missile launchers, and then the support equipment in that order. So if it doesn't see the radar, it will go towards the missiles. If it doesn't see the missiles, then it will go to the support equipment. And Argum has been extremely successful that entire initial operational test and evaluation process. To my understanding, there is no D harm at this point, but the uh, A, B, and C missiles did not have what I would consider a GPS capability to be able to maintain it in a certain area. Geospecificity is the term that we use, and none of those have adapted the seeker to the modern threats to be able to engage in those shutdown types of scenarios. Argum has done that by bringing in that anti-radiation seeker set to include the digital receiver coupled then with that millimeter wave radar. The millimeter wave radar is an active radar that comes on and then we'll be able to find targets on the ground after the ARH system gives it a good location to be able to fly to. Uh, and that's the biggest advantage that I see over the previous one. Uh, to date, we have already started procuring some items from Argon in Poland. Our, we have a missile model manufacturer already located in Poland and is providing even this model that we have here today and other models that I'm using around the United States and in other international scenarios. Uh, as far as model making or actual uh, missile manufacturing itself, that's going to be dependent upon what the, uh, the Polish Air Force would want to move forward with. If they want to lean towards a domestic program, then we can certainly look at those options with them. But to date, we haven't seen or heard of those types of requirements from the Polish Air Force at this time.